Welcome, 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 and greetings and a big, big high five, Fox Paw, to all our children and families listening in and tuning in from around the world. Welcome to our first ever clip for our science and nature segment on our fabulous Flying Fox Children's Channel. Today we are interviewing uh, the channel's intrepid high flying science reporter. Jellybean Jane Ninja Brain on animals, animals, and all, all the various sounds that they make. Uh, welcome, uh, Jane, and a big, fabulous flying fox high five fox paw. Welcome to the channel. Thank you, thank you. I'm a self appointed expert on all things. Slimy, gooey, gungy, gloopy, greasy, soapy, syrupy, gluey, liquidy, clerestily, moldy, including gels, souls, globules, emotions, plasmas, protoplasms, and jellies. But mostly jellies. At least I can eat those. Especially a strawberry. You just gotta love that strawberry. I just can't give me enough of that strawberry, especially with ice cream. Ahem, uh, thanks uh, for those uh, very illuminating thoughts, Jane. Moving on, uh, let's just get straight into it. We have several questions here from children around the world. Um, a variety of questions, as it turns out, all related to animals uh, and the sounds they make. Firstly, we're going to start off with what sound does a cow make? Moo. Moo. Uh, moo. 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 Uh, does it make any other kinds of sounds? It's just moo. 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 Okay. Uh, well, I guess uh, <laughs> for any child that hasn't actually heard a cow, uh, not even in the movies, uh, I guess you know, like that's what you'd probably hear if you saw one. So, hope this helps uh, any child around the world who actually. See something walking down the street and it goes moo. You can guarantee that is going to be a cow. Hey, do you want to hear a knock knock joke? Why not? Oh, God, glad you. Hey, look, uh, knock knock. H who's there? Uh, moo who? Moo who who? Ah, you see, that's probably another sound a cow makes because it kind of rhymes. Uh, anyway, look, moving on. Um, look, next question from another child listener uh, from uh, overseas. What, this is actually kind of a tricky one because I think there's more than one answer, but let's just go with it. What sound does a pig make? Oink. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a pig makes a sound, uh, oink. oink. Okay, okay, I get that, but uh, does it make anything else? I mean. Uh, it's, it's, it's oink. Oink. It's definitely oink. oink. Don't they grunt? Yeah, yes, they I do. can grunt. But that's more of a growl. Ah, okay. Uh, how about that? Oh, amazing. Amazing. I just made that up on the spot. I yeah, look, I you know, I could I could actually pass for a big I think if I really wanted to. Uh, now the other thing uh, apparently now this is again from uh, uh, overseas. Uh, apparently some pigs squeal. Is this correct? Yes, some pigs do squeal on occasion when they're frightened. Ah, okay. Well, that's interesting. Now, um, you know, uh, because, uh, look, I, I don't spend much time in the country. I've got to be honest with you. Now, um, I, I'm just wondering, um, of the pig and the cow, uh, which one's actually the, the bigger one of the two? Uh, definitely a cow. A cow. So if it came down to, you know, like uh, uh, a hoof on trotter, Fight. Who is more likely to win? Ah, uh, I would have to go for pig. Pigs are very intimidating. Pigs are intimidating. Okay. All right. So, um, good point to make. I'm um, just uh, one final, uh, you know, uh, check here. I know that uh, some animals use their tails as kind of a defence. Uh, I'm just wondering uh, how the tails of uh, the cow and the pig actually compare. I feel like pigs' tails, they're, they're kind of like non-existent. You can't really like do much with them. 
Uh, somewhere you could eat them. They might be tasty, but uh, they're, they're just, they're, they're, they look like a curly fry. Uh, they look, they look, they look like a curly fry. Okay, all right, now, that just put me off curly fries uh, for life. Look, moving uh, right on, I'm getting uh, some more interesting uh, questions from uh, some of our children overseas. Um, this one here, uh, unfortunately, I, I'm, I have absolutely no idea. It says here, what sound does an octopus make? And now, uh, can you um, perhaps uh, tell us what an octopus actually is? Um, an octopus is a eight-legged creature, and fun fact, it has three hearts. It has three hearts? Oh, my God. Hopefully they don't fall in love because then they break all three hearts at the same time. Uh, so uh, where does one find an octopus, if you don't mind me asking? Um, usually in the ocean, more in like the, the colder atmosphere. Ah, so they live under water. Yes. I see. Uh, do we have any on the coastline around New Zealand or do they prefer environments like uh, coral? Now, I'm just gonna put in a little thing here. Coral is like fossilized uh, bone, right, which kind of grows. It's a living thing. Uh, we don't have very much coral of any in New Zealand, although they have a lot in Australia. Uh, I'm just wondering, though, do, are there many octopuses around New Zealand? Ah, okay. Oh, well, that, that's, that's interesting. Now, uh, uh, octopus noises, I guess they might sound like, uh, I, you know what, they, they might not sound like uh, a mop cleaning a floor. So it'd be something like, um, uh, something like... <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, Jay? What, what do you think? I would say that's spot on. Oh, well, you know what, it's just a stab in the dark, but I've never actually lived underwater. This would shock you, but uh, look, I tell you what, if we uh, hopefully complete our submersible submarine, we'll be able to go underwater and uh, and find out. Now, uh, look, moving right along, now, now this, I think, is a kind of a simple question uh, here from an overseas child. Um, what sound does a butterfly make when it's flying? Now, I, I'm assuming because it's called a butterfly, it flies. Uh, I, I don't know. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Yeah, that, that, it's, that's the whole point in a butterfly, it's an insect. Ah, now I've done a bit of research on this one because uh, I Google, I can use Google. Uh, I know my, uh, I have very fat fingers, but I can use Google. Um, but uh, no, no, apparently, uh, um, uh, not to put too fine a point on it, butterflies flap their wings. So uh, I'm assuming that the sound of a butterfly would kind of sound a little bit like uh, uh, a helicopter. And, uh, you know, so it'll be like... What, 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 do you, what do you think? What do you think, Jay? Um... It doesn't have a sound at all when it's flying. Uh, usually you can't hear them because they're so tiny, uh, their wing flaps, they won't usually make a sound. Well, with birds, you can often hear them take off because you can hear their wings flapping due to having them uh, having bigger wings. Huh. Oh man, oh, it's, it's kind of creepy. You can't hear butterflies. I mean, they could, you know, they could, they could creep up behind you. I don't know. I, so I'm not really feeling really the feeling the love here, feeling that comfortable. Uh, look, um, you know, maybe we'll just uh, we'll just put butterflies to one side for the moment. Uh, now, this is a really interesting question from uh, a child in Africa. Uh, what sound does a red and blue striped zebra make? Okay, now. Um, Look, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm totally clear on what a zebra actually is, so can, can you help me out here a little bit? Um, zebras, uh, this is a little bit of an imagery. Think of a horse. What? Can you, can you, a horse with a tail kind of like a cow's, like slim with a little bit of hair at the end. Um, they're black and white usually. I've never seen a red and blue zebra but if if you, someone finds one then i would be stoked to hear about it oh well okay uh well look, perhaps we could ask uh, you know the viewer out there who sent in a question to uh maybe sent in uh, send in a picture uh okay and you know without using you know the the photoshop i must admit that in my travels i have not seen a red and blue striped zebra no idea what they would make but I, you know they kind of zebras remind me a little bit of um horses so I guess they would go <laughs> but like that you know 
maybe clippity clop, clippity clop. Oh, look, I'm uh, not sure, you know. I'm going to have to, um, I'm really going to have to see one, one first, uh, but I don't really think a local zoo has got a red and blue striped zebra, but you never know. You never know. All right, hey, moving on here, and uh, just two more questions to go. Um, all right, hey, first one here. Again, I think this is from the Africas. Uh, here we go. What sound does a polka dot elephant make? Well, that's a good question. I, uh, that is actually a good question. I, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'll try Googling it. What's your thoughts, uh, Jane? Uh, I would feel like a, like a trumpet noise. I, I suppose that it's like... Uh kind of like the sound of a trumpet, in a, in a way. I, I feel like a polka dot elephant would have to have like a more special type of like trumpet noise compared to like other elephants. Huh. Uh, it's interesting, uh, and I guess, uh, thinking about it, I guess um, it would have a different kind of trunk too. Uh, but hey, look, you know, polka dots, which got lots of little circles, I do know what, I, I'm going to be very interested to Google that at the end of this uh, little clip here to uh, to actually see what one looks like, much less what one actually um, what one actually sounds like. So I'm not even going to try and imitate what an elephant noise is. Oh, it's just no, that one's beyond me. I have to say, one, one, that one's beyond me. Now the next one's actually, I think, possibly something that um, I could do if I was pushed. Anyway, it, it says here, and again, I think this is from uh, the uh, the Africas. What sound does a pink lion make? Um, roar, R roar. Rot lions roar, don't they? So, yeah. uh, kind of like rawr, a bit like that. Yeah, yeah, maybe not as long, but but yes. Well, it depends. I mean, that could have been a, a lion yawning, you know, and and I mean, they can't like roar all the time. I mean, how on earth would they communicate if they're roaring at each other all the time? It'd be like humans shouting at each other all the time. You have to wonder just how much communication is going on between humans sometimes if they're yelling at each other all the time. So, I don't know, uh, Pink Lion, I, I, it kind of sounds like a rare breed. I, maybe they were just spending too much time in the in the sun. I, I don't know, we're gonna look that one up. Hey, Jelly Bean Jane, Ninja Bra, hey, it's been good having you on here for your uh, first ever clip. And uh, we're gonna be doing more uh, clips like this on animals and a few other things uh, around the world uh well you know what are your thoughts on uh on the future with uh with this channel and and bringing some of the science and nature to uh, to children around the world um i i think that this is a rather lovely channel and um more science facts is amazing for children to learn all right okay and that's that's our job here to uh, inform as well as to entertain because uh, we're trying to uh, we're trying to do it all here hey uh, look thanks a bunch for tuning in kids and look we look forward to presenting our next clip uh, which will probably be on underwater creatures so we're gonna have a, a whale of a time so do look forward to that and we hope to see you again on the channel very 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 soon all right bye for now Bye. Bye. Bye.